Okay guys, welcome back to another video. What I have today is a 2011 Citroen Picasso. Not that you can see it in there, but it's a Citroen Picasso C4. And what's, it's an auto or Tiptronic. So we have change between manual and automatic and stuff. And we have Tiptronic in here if we want it or need it or whatever it may be. Right, what, um, when we drive it, customers complain is when they're driving that the clutch starts to slip. So, took it up the road for a spin, and when it does a drive, when it changes gear, it starts to slip in higher gears. So third, fourth, and fifth, it's, when we're looking for road and torque, it's slipping. Now I just said I'd go in and have a little look and see, and in transmission I have clutch programming not done or, or finished. And I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to maybe run through and see if there is an adaptive crack in this thing. I've never, I'm not familiar with this. I did, did order a clutch for it and it is sitting here, but I'm going to have a look. So P0949 auto shift manual adaptive learning not complete description. The fault is stored when a malfunction is detected with the auto shift control system. Ensure all adapta adaptations are carried out prior to fault finding the system. Inspect the condition of all mechanical and hydraulic components before carrying out electrical fault finding. That's not really a whole load of good to us, but we're going to get back. Maybe when we try and enter into transmission let me just close that down so we get out of here there i am we're going to get in here and just have a little look this could be good it could be useless i could be wasting my time i don't know maybe the clutch is just worn special functions there's a lot of special functions in here isn't there i'm going to start maybe I should start at the top but i'm going to start at the bottom gearbox programming paddle steering wheel no gear lever replacement of gearbox no removal or replacement of clutch cover or the disc that's kind of what we're going to be chasing after um, removal or replacement of the electro pump assembly electric motor control actuator reservoir solenoid valve gearbox actuator electric pump control actuator oil level hydraulic clutch bearing replacement of, of the hydraulic clutch bearing so yeah maybe that is going to be good too so maybe what we should do is go into here start here anyway if the hydraulic clutch stop is replacing is replaced carry out the following operations depressurization of the hydraulic circuit replacement replacement of the hydraulic clutch bearing see corresponding pressurize the hydraulic circuit bleeding of a hydraulic circuit gearbox ecu downloading only if the new hydraulic clutch stops stops marked with a blue mark gearbox programming don't know what the actual customer has said to me that only a couple of years ago he has actually got the clutch done in in this thing we'll go in and we'll have a little oil wear counter depression of hydraulic circuit Pressurize the hydraulic circuit. Bleeding of the hydraulic circuit. Gearbox program. Oil wear counter depression of the hydraulic. Depressurization of the hydraulic circuit. Maybe that's not what we're after. So we're going to go back down here. He did, as I said there, say that he has. Um, that he did replace the clutch in it a couple of years ago. If, there were, if replacing the clutch mechanism or clutch disc systematically replace the clutch bearing and perform the following operations depressurizations of hydraulic of the hydraulic circuit disconnect the battery replace the clutch mechanism or clutch plate see corresponding reconnect the battery pressurize the hydraulic circuit bleeding the hydraulic circuit gearbox programming uh, transmission transmissibility value setting to zero if removing clutch mechanisms are clutch mechanism or clutch disc systematic systematically replace the clutch bearing and perform the following operations get myself tongue-tied here 
depressurization of the hydraulic circuit that's what they had up here also um, removal or fitting of the clutch me mechanism or clutch plate see corresponding mechanical procedure pressurize the hydraulic circuit bleeding of the hydraulic circuit we're good in here we'll just have a little look it's the same actual setup as what we had in the other one so I'm just oh gosh So this is all very similar to the other one. So what we're saying here, pressurize the hydraulic circuit, bleeding out of the hydraulic circuit and gearbox programming. So pressurization, depressurization, pressurization, bleeding, and then gearbox program. So I think we're gonna get into here. We don't believe we don't have air in it anyway. Um, the diagnostics service permits depressurization of the hydraulic circuit. This must be in the following configuration before starting the hydraulic circuit pressurization command. Ignition on, vehicle, and engine stopped. Okay, we're gonna cycle our key off and on. In progress. I'm wondering, could could this thing keep pressure in the hydraulic system slightly? So have the clutch slightly depressed? So are we depressurizing it to start again to pressurize it with, well, you know, slightly apply pressure and then release it? Could it have been slightly pressurized all along? Don't know. Continue. Turn ignition off. You don't need to see me doing that, does it? Ignition off. Continue. Wait 60 seconds. Interesting. It's, uh, the only thing that's making me even do this is just that the customer has said that he replaced it a couple of, well, I think it's only like two years ago or something like that. So if he did, I was thinking maybe someone put in something wrong, which are because we have these fault codes, I'm going to try this stuff and just see where we end up. And that's why I'm running through this procedure. Then we'll give it a spin again and just see where, where it kind of goes, what it feels like. Is it slipping? Is it not? I don't know. It's not slipping mad either. It's just when you're under load, it's like a, you get this kind of above where it should be. You know, you'll all get the gist of what I'm talking about. Um, there's only just a trial run. We're getting close to the end of our 60 seconds. See what we're... Turn ignition back on. Okay, ignition's back on. Continue. I think that was depressurization. So we go to pressurization. Pressurization. So the diagnostics service permits pressurization of the hydraulic circuit. The vehicle must be in the following conditions. For starting hydraulic circuit pressurization, command ignition on and engine speed off. Sorry, and an engine stopped. My sister is walking around me. Is this thing going? Continue. Activation ended. Continue. Turn ignition off. Off. Yeah, I, did, I didn't show you, but I did. I just cycled the key off. Continue. Again, we have another 60 seconds. So this is, yeah, I'll pause out there at this point when the 60 seconds are up, I'll start again. Continue. Did I turn on the ignition? I did. Silly me. Okay. And then I think we're gonna go, we don't need to bleed it because we didn't have it apart. So we go to this. And then, 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 the this step permits program the gearbox follow the following confirmation. The tool will carry out the following operations: clean clearing of the auto programmed values, learning of the gearbox gate, programming of the clutch biting point. Actually, that'd be an interesting one. Um, programming of the transmissibility of the clutch. Continue. This stage for clearing auto programming. The vehicle has to be in the following configuration before starting the deletion of the auto installations. Ignition on, vehicle stopped, which we have. Go.
go. Come on, baby. What the heck? Okay, that was um really good, wasn't it? Red dap it. Do something. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Okay. Wow, what's happening here? Okay, exit out. Does that um do that in forest? No. Isn't that funny? Do we need to do that first? I guess permits bleeding the circuit. Continue. Maybe it wants us to run through it, you know, step by step by step. Okay, is it? What do I have to do? It, you know what? It's because I've turned off the key. I bet you. The cycle. Have to exit out of it. Okay. Going to do that. Get back out. Oh, the Jesus. That was my fault now because I actually cycled the key on or off. I'm assuming... That that is where we're at, and wonder maybe codes should I have gathered and or cleared these back? Clear codes, continue. Okay, codes. Nothing in there at this point. Functional test, special functions. Do the little where does it clutch? Clutch disk, continue. We get into here for a crack. We'll see what happens now. We've read all this stuff, so there's no. Big mad panic on us. I can hear stuff happening out there. What I believe from any of these activation events, it pumps the hydraulic side of it and watches it working and kind of circulates fluid via a pump from IE, the electronic master cylinder, rather than the pedal master cylinder. But anyway, that's after going through what we... Want it? Turn ignition off. Ignition has gone off. Continue. And then we have to wait for our 60 seconds again. So the actual the mistake I made there was when it said to turn press go, I did it without turning on the actual key. Which was in theory school by error. Now again, as I said there, this I don't know if this is wasting my pure time. But we're gonna try it. Purely because it's an older gentleman and I don't want to go along and tell him to do something that's not potentially needed. So at this point in time, well, if it does something, isn't it beneficial to him and or me? Because it saves me having to take this thing out of it. I have actually never changed the clutch in one of these. I believe it's fairly similar to the standard manual one, but just slight difference in maybe the clutch because they're listed differently. And if it says there's a hydraulic release bearing in it, the other ones are kind of just a bearing with, a, I think, a, a slave cylinder. Turn the key on now. I was nearly going to... I was nearly going to um, make the boo-boo again. Okay, so we're assuming that's done. Now, continue. This is the interesting bit. This is the one that I actually wanted to see ignition on. Engine stopped. We were here already. Turn ignition off. Ignition has gone off. Continue. Wait 60 seconds. Everything is 60 seconds. This is going to be a 15 minute video of um, waiting. But hey ho, that's a. Uh, I guess that's life. I can't, I could stop every time and maybe I might even cut the video and cut that bit out of it just to speed it up for yourselves, guys, so you won't be. Looking at a thing of nothing, so I suppose we have to be specific on what it's telling us to turn the key on, turn the key off, and see where we go. As I said, if I drive this car and this is still slipping after the pint, after the pint of doing all this, I'm not going to put this video up because it needs a clutch, and then I'll do all this. I could even do this maybe same process at the end without recording it because it's so long-winded and show a couple of pointers on changing the clutch in case it was any good tea but anyway, it's only just to show something that i'm not familiar with and if i'm not familiar with it well there's probably turn ignition back on okay we're back alive here clearing of the auto programming value is completed 
continue. This permits programming of the gearbox grid. The vehicle must be in the following configuration before starting the program of the programming of the gearbox selection gate. Ignition on, vehicle stopped. Ignition is on, continue. It's in progress and it may take several minutes. So for definite at this point in time, we're going to Fear banging coming from the gearbox at this point in time. Interesting, huh? Right, she stopped. That was pretty uh, robust and fast. Switch ignition off. Let's see that. Maybe by me recording it, it'll make me remind myself to actually do it. Waiting, please wait. Another 60 seconds. Okay, so every time I say I'm gonna turn it off, I don't. And pause out, I don't turn it off and I don't pause out. I'm gonna leave it roll there for a moment and see where we end up. Fingery wingery is crossed that it's going to fix or do something. I'm assuming if I change the clutch, if I'm not happy and I change the clutch, that it's going to be the exact same process I have to go through. I did see that bleeding of the system up above with the hydraulic mass, a cylinder replacement. So we're in clutch changing now, but it seems to be the exact same process in all of them. So lo and behold, hopefully this will do something. We should be getting near, near the end now, guys. So what we call it, a clutch biting point and gear selection programming in a semi-automatic switch ignition on. We're on, continue. The gearbox grid teaching is finished, continue. This step permits programming of the clutch load bearing. The, the vehicle must be in the following configuration. Engine cold, ignition on, vehicle statutory, engine running. Okay, so let's get the engine running at this point then. Now I have, continue. I have, it has to take several minutes again. I have the brake press, maybe I should do a go. I have, um, I started this from cold this morning. I drove at the top of the road a couple of times through the gears to see and it's not wickedly warm. Is our temperature gauge there? No temperature gauge. Switch, the ignition off. Okay, continue. Please wait. Ah, another 60 seconds. So I haven't actually got it really, really warm, but I have driven at the top of the street. I'm presuming that's going to be cold enough to class it as cold. Probably have to run it for about three minutes or so. So hey, we're about 30 seconds of the way through here. The, what I, I think I said this before, but I'm a mechanic for, first and foremost. So I served my time uh, 25 years ago, which was just camshafts and big end bearings and pints and all this kind of stuff. This is, again... All this electronic stuff is slightly against the grain because I have to teach myself over years to understand this, where the mechanics is born and bred into me, nearly. Um, so I'm, I'm recording it just to show anyone that may not be familiar with this, and I'm not familiar with it either, so... Hey, switch the ignition. Oop. On, we're back on here again. Continue. Program clutch point of light contact is complete. Whoa. Genie, Mick. This step permits the programming of the transmissibility of the clutch. Warning, this operation necessitates an area of driving free. The vehicle must be in the following configuration before starting the programming. Ignition on, vehicle stationary. Uh, engine running for 20 minutes in neutral. Do not stop the engine. Allow the clutch temperature to stabilize at the same temperature as the engine. The program 
programming must be carried out while driving in automatic mode and without switching off the engine select automatic mode at the gear lever you can automatic mode or reverse neutral automatic and manual manual is where i can do the tiptronic crack we're just going to be going into a all right is what it's telling us here um select automatic mode the gear lever uh, start in first accelerate quickly Accelerate quickly in an engine torque zone between 80 and 140 newton meters until second gear is engaged. Brake the, ve break the vehicle until stationary and repeat the operation four times. Okay, so take off, brake, take off, brake until it, sorry, take off and go until it reaches second gear and then brake. Wait five minutes in neutral without switching off the engine. Repeat the entire process three times. Okay, drive the vehicle. Changing through all gears in automatic mode to check there is no hesitation or snatching or slipping or delay in the gear changing, especially going from second to third gear. And that's kind of where we have a little bit of issue where I'm seeing our engine revs revving up and it's slipping. If okay, switch off the ignition to memorize the initialization. Wait 60 seconds, power latch. Carry out a road test to validate to validate the storing if not okay do not switch off the engine wait 10 minutes in neutral while without stopping the engine then recommence the initialization starting first gear up to 140 newton meters so it's repeating what we've done over here so go from first to second 80 to 140 newton meters three times mm, interesting It'll do drive the vehicle change through all gears and check there is no issues Especially when going between second and third, switch the ignition off to memorize the program. Wait 60 seconds, power latch, carry out a road test again. Okay, so what they're actually saying here is so we're going to go now, we're going to start the car with to let the car run. I'm going to do that. Switch off the ignition, it's going through 60 seconds. Um, continue. Now it's going through 60 seconds. So, what it's saying to do is to start the car, leave the clutch, get up to the same operating temperature as the engine. Go for a drive first to second gear, 80 to 140 newton meters. I don't know what that is. I suppose just drive it under moderate load. You know, not flat out, just moderate load, moderate, fairly moderate to hard, what we call it, torque. Once it changes second gear, stop, start off and do the same thing three times. After that, drive it as normal, leave it switched through all the gears. If it's driving okay, Leave the car running and then turn off the key for one minute. What do they call it? Something latch. Um, okay, we're going to do that. And then repeat the process if it doesn't work again. Right on here, our countdown, eight seconds. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to tell us to start the car at this point in time and go again. This is a bit of a... Oh, I nearly pressed. It's a bit of a slow winded process i actually thought it was going to be faster program out the transmissibility of the clutch is completed move off several times and drive a few miles checking the performance of the vehicle absence of knocks jewels successive shuttering skid and changing gear okay so we're gonna start the car okay well i'm gonna drive and I'll let you know then what I see. I don't think you're going to see it or get to feel this or even see what I'm doing. So you know what I'm doing. Stopped first to second gear, fairly hard. Stopped first to second gear, fairly hard. Stopped first to second gear, fairly hard. Then just stop again, run through the gears and see where we stand. Okay, I'm going to do that. And the power latch then, turn the key off for one minute and see where we end up. Okay, I'll drive it and, and I'll... Um, we'll actually go back and we'll just have a look and see if I got any codes in here not finished or done so we're going to go back so we better do this drive thing in a majiggy is it because the car's gone maybe I go and do this drive cycle thing that it's asking me to do and then see where we go with this okay we'll do that okay guys I have done my I'm actually out on the road I have done my little um drive first to second gear three times honestly i don't think this is after doing anything for it i think we're still slipping 
I don't know what's going on there. Did they put in the wrong clutch or is there something strange happening? Um, am I going changing at this point in time, potentially? I'm, I have the key turned off now. I'm at to pull it into the side of the road to do this power latch crack they were asking us about. So look, it's off now with 20 seconds or so. I'm going to take off in a moment and just see what way it reacts. But I'd say maybe in my head, I may end up just changing the actual clutch. Until I get my key turned on, I don't want to go near this thing. Gearbox programming not finished or not done. So look, we've gone through as much as we can go through at this point. Maybe there's other stuff to be in there to be looked at, but we'll leave this power latchy crack. I have me fall codes. I'm only confirming communication by going in here because I can see that it does that crack. Exit. Stop communication. Continue. Transmission. Continue. Um, clear codes. Continue. Codes. Go back. Right. We'll run around. Um, we'll run around the road for another couple of miles and just see. And see is it still slipping. Okay? Okay, guys, I'm after going out and I'm after doing another couple of miles. I'm after coming back. I'm after doing the same adaptation crack as in idle first gear up into second, 80 to 140 newton meters. I have to do it three times again. Then left to drive through all the gears, pulled in, key off for that power latch time, back out. I'm looking at faults at this point in time. I have no faults. I actually drove it and at that point in time, it's not slipping. You still have this thing in the back of your head saying, is or was this clutch worn or is there something wrong in there? It's not slipping at this point in time. <clears throat> Purely because he says he changed the clutch about two years ago or so and paid lads to do it, he said. And he was disappointed because how could the clutch be gone again when these lads were paid to do it. Using that, and I'm saying they've done a comprehensive job in there, but potentially they didn't do this reprogramming, or whatever it was, P1800. I was that cautious that I came back, I parked up, I got one of my colleagues to drive it. The lad that actually diagnosed this as clutch being slipping in the first place, he went off for a spin, and between second and third or third and fourth under load just when the turbo was kicking in about 2,000 rpm he said he could make it slip away mad between maybe two and three thousand rpm to go up and the minute he left off the throttle he said it would come back down to where it should be and he could feel it slipping absolutely but then would have been semi-automatic it's kind of a little bit out of our control because we're not actually pressing the clutch but yet there's no slipping while the clutch is engaged and under load at this point and is this going to get better as time goes on because our programming is done? It's now, as I said there, we have no fault codes. We have the history there of what it was, P1, P1800, P1800, gearbox programming, not finished or done. I don't even know what time it is now. God knows what's telling me now. Yeah, that was 11, 11 18. If this chap's clock is right, it's 11.53 now, so 30, 30 minutes or so later. But at this point in time, I'm going to contact the customer. I'm going to tell him what we've done, that we have done this gearbox programming, that we're nearly happy in our mindset that the clutch is not slipping at all at all at this point in time, and for him to drive it for another week. And what we're going to do is adjourn or put off the changing of the clutch if needs be. But for now, this is a, is a fix. I won't do anything with this video until I actually get feedback from the customer and I tell him, but, or sorry, I'll tell ye. So we'll wait and see where we go. And fingers crossed, this is going to save the man some few pound and yeah, work out better for us all. I'll talk to you in a minute. As soon as I, he gets back onto me in a week or so, okay? And we'll um, let you know then. Guys. That's it for today, yeah. Well, no, it's not really. It's going to be it if, if the Flumen uh, car doesn't come back or so. So this is not it. So look, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you in a week or so. 
See you in the next cartoon. Well, okay, guys, a week or so has passed. This man has had to bring him back his car, and he says it's driving 100%. You know, he's a bit old, so he wouldn't be much putting much pressure on it. I've gone out for a spin. It's not slipping. So at this point in time, we're classing it as a no-go. We're not going to do the clutch. We're going to leave it off. Um, and clutch or gearbox programming has done it. Have done a code scan. Have no faults in transmission. So at this point, yeah, lads, we are thumbs up. Slipping clutch. Now, only after being replaced prior, but for now, it is done. Our little C4 is going back on the road for another couple of years. Guys, see you on the next cartoon. Peter Kennedy, sign now.